Application of high strength steel in structures. Steel structures are widely used in various important engineering projects, such as airport terminals, high rise buildings, large space public buildings, large span bridges, and offshore facilities. There are various grades of steel used in steel construction, including grades 235. 460, 690, and so on. Specified according the yielding strength of steel in Mago Park. Currently, the grade of steel mostly used in steel construction are less than 400 Mago Park. Employing high strength steel with yield strength greater than 400 Mago Park can reduce the cross sectional size of steel members. Further leads to reduce the burden of fabrication, transportation, erection, and welding of steel structural members. Besides, employing high strength steel can obtain the benefits of reduction in steel consumption and carbon emissions. However, with the increase in steel strength, the ductility of steel is decreased. With reduced ductility, the chance of fracture happened in steel members and welding joints under earthquakes increases. So, to apply high-strength steel for steel structures in seismic zones is a challenging issue. The hybrid-grade steel structures are recommended to solve the challenging problem. The high-strength steel can be used for the members in elastic under earthquakes. While for members yielding under earthquakes, still use the normal strength steel. For example, we can use normal strength steel for the beams of a frame structure allowing to yield under earthquakes, while use high strength steel for the columns with limited plastic deformation under earthquakes. Another example is to use unplate semi rigid beam to column connections to steel frames. The end plate connections can use normal strength steel allow for yielding and form plastic hinge, while the beams and columns can use high strength steel to keep elastic under earthquakes. Steel components can be connected by bolting or welding to form a complete structure. It is identified that the slip strength of the bolted connections for high strength steel is similar to that for normal strength steel. And also, the bearing strength of the bolted connections for high strength steel is ductile and comparable to that for normal strength steel. However, the welded connection for high strength steel is different from that for normal strength steel. It is found that high temperature of welding will create a heated affected zone in the base high strength steel near the welding fusion metal, where the property of the material in strength is reduced and less than its original material. This strength reduction phenomenon of the heat work zone does not happen in normal strength steel, so it's a critical issue to investigate the mechanical properties of the heat work zone for high strength steel which in general governs the failure modes, strength, and the ductility of the welded joints. The thickness of high-strength steel plates and welding heat input significantly influence the location of joint failure and load carrying capacity during tensile loading. To provide the same resistance, using high-strength steel can reduce the cross-sectional size of members. However, under compression or shear, Slender members and component plates may show buckling failure before reaching their yield strength. Therefore, to maximize the strength, high strength steel is recommended to be used in tension or bending components. Alternatively, applying high strength steel in composite members, such as concrete filled steel tubes and concrete encased steel members can also help to mitigate the local buckling of steel plate. Through decades of research and practice, more and more engineering structures have been constructed in high-strength steel. By rationally applying the mechanical properties in the structural design of bridges, buildings, and other engineering facilities, 
The engineering construction will greatly advance in economical and environmental advantages with using high-strength steel in future.